What's up party people? Android Stud here and today I have a new piece of tech. That's right. This is a dash cam from the folks over at VivaLink. This is the VX510. Now I wanted to thank them for sending this over and sponsoring this video. Now if you want to pick this up, there's going to be a link down in the description. Pretty affordable, under a hundred bucks. You might even be able to get it cheaper than that if you grab it at the right time. Now this has a 2.5K display, I guess almost 4K, but halfway, more than halfway there. <laughs> but this is a mounted dash cam camera. It also comes with dual cameras. So you get one for your back of your car. Um, it has a pretty cool uh, UI, has uh, voice control, touch screen. Um, this also includes night vision. So if you wanna do record video at night for your, for when you're driving, um, also has parking assist so that it can turn on when your car is parked and someone comes near your car. But we're gonna go ahead and open this up and take a look. All right, so we took everything out of the box. Now this comes with obviously the dash cam itself. Now this attaches to your rear view mirror with these rubber uh, straps here. Now you can install this yourself, the dash cam, also the rear camera for your back of your car. There's an instructions here that comes inside the book. If you know what you're doing, you could probably install it um, or you can get this um, installed by a you know specialist, but shouldn't be that much to install. This is the rear camera and you see you run this wire along um, your, cable, your uh, car there, has some wires there you have to connect. And then you have the charger here, which is a, you plug it in 12 volt charger that goes into your car. Um, you sh every car should have that port. Then you got USB there uh, that plugs into the camera and powers uh, the device. Now you're gonna need an SD card for this bad boy um, to record all the video footage that you have. And I'm gonna show you that here in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up, check out the menus and we'll go from there. All right, so I plugged this into a wall adapter USB here at the top. I also put a SD card inside um, that you're gonna have to format. So we're gonna go ahead and take off this screen protector so you can kind of get a feel of the, the screen here. So let's go ahead and see the touch screen is pretty good. So you're gonna go into the settings menu here let me uh, turn down the brightness here so that you guys can uh, see maybe a little better. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm gonna go here into settings. Gonna, and it has a pretty good UI here. So you're gonna go into format SD card, confirm, go ahead and format. Now, you probably wanna get a decent size SD card because if you don't, then um, you know, you're gonna get into a little trouble, you're gonna run out of space, but it constantly records and erases constantly. So it's that kind of thing. Now you could set the resolution there. As you can see, you could also do time-lapse, driving mode, audio. Um, you can do uh, what format. So we're gonna go do H.264. It takes up more space, but I'm familiar with H.264. Not familiar with H.265 too much. Your frequency rate. Keep it at 60, I think you can go do 50, USB mode, tap sound. We're gonna go ahead and turn that off because that, you know, not really necessary. Your speaker on and off, uh, streaming. You can do all kinds of stuff here. Factory reset, all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and back out of it. And then we're gonna go ahead and mount this to our car. All right, so I'm in the car now. Now this has two straps here that you're gonna attach to the rear view mirror here and it's real simple to install and then you're gonna have to plug in the 12 volt uh, cord here USB cord here so that you could uh, have power to your dash cam now this comes with a it also comes with a other camera that you plug into the back and you'll be able to see both cameras at the same time. Um, 
so we'll plug this in also all right so I got everything set up put it on with the straps and I got the rear view mirror as you can see that is the front of the car now you could turn this off and it'll act like a regular rear view mirror as you see there you can't really see me because it's dark in the car but I could turn on a light as you can see there's my camera so it acts like a rear mirror when you turn it off so when it's back on you have your front there now if you swipe to the right there's your back camera so you can always have the back camera on or you could do dual screen where you see the front and the back the way it works is that once it's activated it records and you can set it to different loops a minute loop three minute loop five minute loop and this will constantly record on your SD card as we go into the menu here um, you have resolution 2.5 K which is what you're gonna want um, there's no reason to have anything different there's 1080p if you want to do that but which I think is sufficient if you ask me I don't think you need 2.5 K but then you got loop recording but as you can see there you can do one minute three minute five minute um, I chose one minute which is fine for me you got time-lapse if you want to do that I have it off audio which you heard earlier driving mode just simply so you could set it to do what you needed to do uh, you can do low sensitivity and this so if you get a car accident it starts to record that's basic the function is so we put it on low also parking mode this is pretty cool so that if you are parked and someone hits your car it'll start recording or if somebody tries breaks in your car then you can record them breaking in your car which is good so I'll put that on low um, sleep mode encode they have 2.64 uh, 2.65 I do 264 60 Hertz you could do 50 Hertz USB mode which you can plug in your you can plug this into your computer and download all your footage tap sound we're gonna turn that off because that's kind of annoying your speaker you can put that on medium high or low um, we're gonna put that on high on and off streaming media date time uh, speak rec speak recognition um, format your 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 SD card I have a 64 gigabyte SD card I would get something really big that way um, if it's recording now this will constantly record if you want it to even if you turn it off you're gonna be able to record like it's recording now um, these are all your clips so you can go through them and look at them um, let's see if we can look at some that um, that I did just recently I think it was this one here got some cars going by got that van then I got another car going by so it's kind of cool man you could do a lot of stuff with this um, like it's recording now it's recording the front and it's recording the back so you have that constant recording and if you turn it off to go to your mirror like so you won't have to worry about it because it's still recording turn it back on and you see that little red light it's still recording so it's a really cool uh, video camera, man, dash cam, whatever you want to call it. Hooks right in. Um, you attach your power to the top. You attach your uh, your rear camera to the top. You're going to have to run the wires along your car. I would recommend getting these uh, installed by a professional. Uh, unless you just want to use the front one, then you could probably get away with just doing the wires yourself. All right, so that is the VV Link. FX 510 uh, dash cam with the rear cam. Now, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck, so these are good to have around the house, as they say. Um, so try to pick one of, these, one of these up, and they fit real nice, as you see, on your rear view mirror. And like I said, man, you never know when you're going to need one of these. So drop down in the description, pick one up. If you like, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and heave a, hit a comment. If I missed anything, that you think um, should be added to the 
to the information in this video, please drop it down below. I appreciate it. But that's going to do it, man. I'm Android Stud. Peace.